Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural edition of KNVP. I'm your host, Lynn B. KNVP is your radio station dedicated to all things invoice pay. Invoice pay, of course, specializes in supplier payments, helping companies nationwide reduce cost, eliminate the risk of payment fraud, and in many cases, introduce an additional revenue stream for companies to leverage to the max. Before we start, if you like what we're doing here today, we encourage you to click the donate button at the end of the video, because you know, it's hard being a radio D SDR. So let's get going. I'm so delighted to kick off our first show with our resident SDR expert in all things sales navigator. Well, actually expert in many things, really. Please welcome Alexandra McDermott, known by friends and family as Alex. Welcome, Alex. Thank you so much for that beautiful introduction, Lynn. <laughs> so happy to have you join us here. Glad Excellent. to be <laughs> So Alex, today, if I'm right, we're um, going to share some tips about using Sales Navigator to help SDRs and VPs at Invoice Pay uh, create more meaningful contacts and help keep up with all the news related to their prospects in their territories, right? Yes, that is our goal today. Excellent, excellent. Well, for, for today, we've got our series broken up into two segments. It, it is our inaugural inaugural issue, but we've got it broken up into two segments. During the first segment, we will cover creating account lists, and then updating notification settings. Alex, would you like to talk about that a little bit further or just jump right in? We are just going to jump right in. Let's just get going. Excellent. All right. So let me hop out here real quick and take you to web browser. So everyone here is familiar with the esteemed LinkedIn. I'm going to take you into Sales Navigator just in case you don't know how to get there. There's a nice big button here that says Sales Nav. So let's click that. First thing we're gonna talk about is making your account lists. So whether you have target accounts, construction accounts, wherever your list is, uh, you know, pull it, make sure you have the names of all the companies is all you're gonna need. Up here at the top, you have my network, which is just all the connections you have in LinkedIn, lead lists, which is gonna be a list of prospects and a count list. So we're going to start in account lists. This is gonna allow you to make folders of all the accounts so that you can keep track of the news, the leads, all that good stuff. You can title it whatever you'd like, put in as many accounts as you'd like and, and so on. So when you have the name of the company, let's go ahead and pick any of them. I'm gonna go with Netflix, that's a big one. You'll see two here, it says lead results and account results. You're gonna go into account. It should give you a large name of all the companies that filter in that result, you're gonna go ahead and go to, it says view, but for me, because it's already saved, you'll go hit save and add to the list. If you don't have one here, it'll ask you to just create account. That's it, it's a bit of a manual process. You'll have to do this for each company, um, but that's about it. Lynn, any questions? Yeah, Alex, um, I think you were gonna look into this, but were you able to uncover whether or not there's any automation in terms of an import of a list? You know, we are still looking to see, I believe if you export a list out of Salesforce, you may be able to put it into LinkedIn so that it'll auto create a list for you. As of right now, this is a manual process. Gotcha, thank you. All right, the next topic I was gonna show you is why you make that list, which ties into these little notifications you're seeing here. So lists, account list, that's how you make that. The tab over is discover. It's going to have some recommended leads and accounts based on your current list. Then the one I want to show you is edit your sales preferences. This is important, so make sure you go into this. You'll see here the number of email messages you have available for the current month. Here you have some privacy preferences. This is what it looks like when someone looks at either your tag in the my network recommendation settings or just in general. So I always recommend having your picture available. Your connection rate will be much higher. The sales preferences we're gonna skip for now. So this is the important part, the email preferences and the alert preferences. So first off, this is where you control all those very, I think Lynn can agree with me, annoying notifications you'll get. Sometimes <laughs> it's a little much, right? Absolutely. And being able to dial it in is absolutely helpful. Yeah. So you can see I'm probably getting too many notifications because I have all these all these open, but you'll be able to control what you'd like to see and what you don't want to see. 
So the, the, the important box out of all these different tiles is most likely the alert preferences. This is the little dings you're going to get in LinkedIn. There'll be a little red number right here with how many notifications you have. So if a lead accepted your connection request was mentioned in the news, if someone was hired or fired, that's where you're going to see these. So you can decide I have them all turned on mostly because I didn't have too many leads to begin with until after today. I imagine I'll have to turn some of these off after. Absolutely. And that all goes back to the home page as well on Sales Navigator as well in terms of alerts, right? Yes, thank you. So when once you've made your preferences and your list, you can go into your home page and this is where you're going to see everything. Now there is a lot of information here and it goes forever. It's kind of hard to sort. So you'll be able to go to this drop down menu, all alerts, and kind of pick and see how you'd like to, to filter. So like maybe I'm just looking for someone who's changed roles. Maybe a company, I'm looking to see companies that are promoting their CFOs. Um, so you'll be able to do that and see if there was anything. So that allows all alerts to as, as filtered as you'd like to be by account, lead. It's It's pretty much up to you. Excellent. That's a good overview. And if you spend a little bit of time there, certainly you can dial that into a little bit closer to our preferences and not be so uh, wildly uh, alerted, so to speak. Yeah, and broad. Perfect. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you, Alex, for um, participating in the first segment of KNVP's broadcast here. Be, be sure, ladies and gentlemen, to stay tuned for more exciting information for all things invoice pay. And again, if you like what you're seeing here or have any feedback for us, please click the donate button at the end of the slide because you know it's hard being a radio SDR. It sure is, Lynn. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs>